With the ACR now out of confinement, the TA 2.0 and Time Attack Group 2.0 Vipers are no longer the heaviest hitters on a track. It isn't for a lack of trying. All Vipers be they the base car or track spec are stubborn, stiff, and loud. Tiny cracks in the road resonate through the ultra-rigid chassis like firecrackers in a drum, and the wide Pirelli rubber constantly fills the cabin with the kind of low-frequency drone only a locomotive engineer could ignore. But that's at posted speeds. The faster the car goes, the less the sounds bother you, the driver. Grip is plentiful, measured at 1.03 grams on a 300-foot circle. But you can only go so fast through so many corners before passengers start to make sounds of their own. And cornering hard is where this car feels at home. Going straight down the road, the hefty weighted steering wheel kicks back, darting off center like it's urging you to turn. Tall gearing, while helping to achieve an EPA rating of 21 mpg on the highway, isn't great in traffic or on moderate inclines. Dropping a gear or two is necessary in a lot of situations. We averaged 14 mpg, two higher than the city rating. When it comes down to it, you have to really want to drive the Viper to the store when you have other options available. The side exhaust warms the sills like stale fries under a heat lamp, and the cabin feels tight at times. And any Viper demands a more special task than a run to the grocery store. The good and bad parts combine for a driving experience unlike any other production car. One might say it's one of a kind, even beyond Mr. Pete's own GTC.